Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. I believe that God, at a point in my life, many years ago, sent me this passage, and it helped to save my life. I was at a time where I didn't want to be here anymore. Uh, I had the shotgun shells on the bed next to the shotgun, and I chose God. I chose to give God another chance, and my brother Joshua referred me to Philippians chapter 4. And by feeding myself with some peace, by feeding myself with a little something peaceful, I was able to begin to see hope. I was able to again see God. I was able again to see that God loved me. You see, God loves you and maybe today you need a little something peaceful be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to god and the peace of god which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are pure, whatever things are just, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Philippians 4, 6 through 8. God can give us peace that we don't even comprehend. Hallelujah. And we have to think and meditate and concentrate on the good aspects of life. There's plenty of bad to go around. Today, let's praise and let's concentrate and meditate on the good stuff ladies and gentlemen just a little something peaceful today